What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. No magic run. Alright. Let's go ahead and see uh, what's going on here. Zidon says I can hear a song. Dagger? Yeah, there it is. There she is, huh? Singing, apparently. From down there? Dagger, you there? Random boat. In the bottom of the place. It's weird. Zidon. It's okay. Keep singing. Because it's our song, right? I'm surprised you found this place. Well, he's talking as if he found it first. What the hell? You got the talent to be a bandit. How about you and me team up? We'll call ourselves the Betrothed. And then we'll join Isis. <laughs> My talent's up to snuff, but that name isn't. Ho! Ho ho ho! Ouch. <laughs> You're really something these days. If I am, I must have gotten it from you. Nah, that's all because you made the effort to learn. No, it's because you stuck with me. Without you, I couldn't have made the Limbloom, much less seen a whole new continent. Everything I tried to do on my own is a total failure. I couldn't stop my mother. At, time lot, at times, I almost lost hope. It helped me so much. Not you, either. Yeah, Vivi and Aiko helped us out at the, at the Ifa tree. Queen was really helpful when we left the continent. Although he wasn't really. <laughs> Freya, Steiner, even Beatrix, who I thought was our enemy. I haven't forgotten. I want to believe everyone's alright, but sometimes I just can't. Hope I can live up to the hopes of everyone who's helped me. You don't have to feel so responsible, Dagger. But I do. She is a princess. Nobody wants you to feel that way. They weren't doing it all for you either. Each was following his own path. His own path? Well, what about you? Huh? Why did you come with me? Hey, that's Ibsen's line. Ibsen? Who's that? Ibsen is a character from a play, but he's a real-life adventurer. I think this play... I think the play is based on his adventures. It kind of goes like this. Ibsen, is, Ibsen and his good friend Colin worked at a tavern in Trino. One day, Ibsen got a letter. From, the letter was so wet from the rain that most of the writing was Ill uh, illegible. The only part that he could read was, said, come back home. Nowadays, we have airships and stuff, but back then it was really hard to travel. He didn't know why he had to go back, but maybe he had some time off if he... But he got some time off, gathered his things, and then set out on his journey home. He walked a thousand leagues up through the mist. Sometimes he was attacked by vicious monsters, but he made it because his friend Colin was by his side. And then after much time on the road, he had to ask Colin something. Why didn't you come with me? And Colin said, oh, it's just because I wanted to. And what was Colin's answer? Only because I wanted to go with you. No, oh, and this is where they have sex on the boat, apparently. <laughs> no, 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 they did not have sex on the boat, okay? Well, it would be an awesome place to have sex. It's one of my, uh, one of my to-do lists. Sit on. I... Dagger? Can't you... Can't you hear the song? Huh? Yeah, it's that song. How come? Who's singing it? What? The sunset makes the idol and wall look like it's on fire. I've seen this somewhere before. What? Where? Are they heading back into the cove, looks like? Uh-oh. The hell? Was you trying to remember something? Don't squint too much, Dagger. You'll get crow's feet. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! What the hell? Look at this! Damn. Wait a minute. 
Looks like it might be the same old boat. I guess that was Dagger when she was a kid. Yeah, if you don't remember, this is the, uh, it's like an extension of the opening scene of the game. So it's like a big, it's like a flashback that Dagger doesn't really remember. She just, I guess she imagined, remembers some giant eye, like, destroying the town or something. The, 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 the city or whatever. Dagger! Dagger, wake up! And, uh, I guess she just passes out. Oh well. So much for having sex on the boat. That sucks. Where's Vivi? He's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. Well. I have no memory of my early childhood. I never really thought about it. Besides, no one ever told me. I was raised in Alexandria, but only from the age of six or so. Six? So where were you until then? Until then, until I turned six, I must have been here in Medain Seri. How did she come to that conclusion? Like, I mean, she could have been anywhere, but like, no one ever told her or anything. So, whatever. Eh. I still can't remember everything. Some things are like they're shrouded in fog. But I do remember one thing. About ten years ago, an unbelievably huge hurricane hit this village. That's as far as I remember. That day I was with my true mother on a little boat, far from the village. There's a cove behind Aiko's house, right? The boat I was on was just like the one there. It all came back to me when I heard that song on the boat. That song is from a day in Seri. That's why no one else knows it. Wow. So everything's just coming together now. I like how like things get to like come to a, a little resolution. At the, this is near, we're nearing the end of the disc, anyways. How'd you get to Alexandria? How come you got to be a princess? How come you don't have a summoner's horn? I don't know. Maybe Doctor Talk can, to, can tell me about the lady who protected me from the storm as the boat lurched about in the waves. My biological mother who died on that boat. That had, that had suck. <laughs> the woman she thought was her mother became someone else, and her true mother was already dead. Dagger has lost two mothers. <sighs> That's heavy, 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 heavy stuff right there, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> when you hear that, when, when you actually, like, let that sink in, that's pretty sad, man. I used to pray every day here at the island wall. You too? You pray to light, Aiko? Yup. I was so happy I remembered. Dagger! Welcome home! So glad to be back. Aha. Uh -huh. I just realized I'm not alone anymore. Yup, I've made up my mind. Sit on, Dagger. I'm going with you. I'll be breaking my promise to my grandpa, but I want to go. Besides, Grandpa always told me to be awesome myself. I don't know what the future holds, but I want to finish what I came here for. So do I. Let's all go together. Come on, Dagger, let's go pray together. All right. Cool. Makes me look emotional, this stuff. I don't know why. I don't know, it's just the feeling that you come to your hometown and it's like, you just want the place you live at back, you know? I still don't know what I should do. By the time we de defeat Kuja and return to Alexandria... Grandpa, I'll be back soon! Oh, you're coming with us? Hey, why the long face? Oh, nothing. My face is always like this. I'm always depressed and pathetic. <laughs> Mog's coming too. Mog! There he is. She is, rather. Hogs a chick in this game. Yeah. Guess all the Moogles have to say goodbye now. It's kind of unfortunate, but whatever. Yeah. Alright. Yup. Definitely. And this place really doesn't hold much significance anymore, to be quite honest. Uh. 
And so, oh, here comes Piccolo. What now? He wants some more, huh? Or A, or whatever. The victor lives. The defeated die. You know the rules. Your actions yesterday were incomprehensible to me. Tell me, why didn't you kill me? Well, that's a tough question. Are you really un that unhappy that I let you live? I'd rather die as a warrior than live as a beggar. Then come with me. Is it on? What? What are you after? Follow me and maybe you'll understand. Besides, you're pretty good in the fight. We could use someone like you or hunting a man down. He actually is really good in the fight. <laughs> his only constant is his unpredictability. That is very true. <laughs> huh? You say something? Very well. I'll find out what makes you so strong. What's your name? Call me what you will. You spoiled it in the last episode. Hmm. Lonnie called you Red, right? Amaranth. Some call me the Flaming Amaranth, even though I don't like flaming. Because flaming is a homosexual reference. So I prefer the blazing amaranth. Fine, we'll call you amaranth. Didn't use my archer voice on that, oh well. <laughs> More the merrier. Let's decide our marching order. Uh, alright, a wand. Is it on, dagger? Amaranth and echo. Yes, sir. Alright. Alright, we'll do fine. Just follow me. Next stop, the Eiffel tree. Alright, so now I will actually want to, well, I don't want to do friendly monsters just yet because we still need to recruit Steiner, still need to recruit uh, Freya, and, uh, well, that's just how it's going to be. Uh, so, and they're going to need to uh, worry about uh, stuff too, or they're going to have to develop as well in abilities. Um, yeah, so that's why I wanted to buy the Poison Knuckles at uh, Kanda Patai. Um, you could have also stolen them from Amaranth when fighting him, um, but that's just, uh, I kind of don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, since I'm not using any abilities, I and mean, he can use something like Chakra, and it's pretty good, actually. Restores magic points at the cost of only four magic points. Amaranth ha has nice abilities, good speed, good strength, all that good stuff. One of my favorite players. Spare change, however, I can use because, well, it doesn't cost magic, so, yeah. And his poison claws are way better than he has here, so. Yeah, because he's so behind on abilities, all of his abilities don't really cost much. Um, first thing I want to get on, first thing I want to do is, I just want to learn as many abilities as possible with him, so, yeah. That's good. Yeah, all the killer abilities are pretty nice. Uh, actually what I want to do is, where is the brigandine? Yeah, alright. Um, well, I don't really need to equip a Brigandine on him just yet, but I do want him to learn ability up eventually. Um, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it, but whatever, we'll be fine. Um, yeah. Counselor's going to take the whole game pretty much to learn, I don't really care about that. Um, and yeah, uh, so, I'm not going to do any grinding, but I'll just get to the Eiffel Tree off screen and, uh, go from there, and then we'll, uh, See what happens at the Eiffel Tree next time on Final Fantasy IX No Magic Run. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.